previously on the YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back again to part 2 of this setup. If you've seen my last video, I got some new toys courtesy of the friends at ASUS. They wanted to hear my thoughts and impressions on their product, so they've sent me the monitor, the keyboard and the mouse. Done the monitor last week and today we're going to continue with the keyboard and the mouse. So let's talk about the ROG Strix Impact 2 wireless mouse first. The ROG Strix Impact 2 wireless is a lightweight gaming mouse that features a 16,000 DPI sensor with adjustments made via a 4-level adjustable DPI switch. The mouse measures 120mm long and 62mm wide, with a weight of 93 grams. I like that the mouse uses a USB Type-C connector and allows for custom mouse switches for various preferences. The battery life is rated at 89 hours without LED lighting, so far I've been using it for a week without charge, and it's been good so far. Aura Sync is the software that allows you to sync customizations across all ASUS products, basically on the keyboard and the mouse. So I'm able to sync up both my keyboard and mouse using just that. Some personal thoughts on the mouse. The top shell switch socket gives a very good surface area for users with larger hands. As compared to my Logitech G Pro Wireless, the mouse is larger and heavier in comparison. The non-slip rubber scroll wheel is also a plus point for me. The touch and feel is slightly superior to the Logitech G Pro Wireless. Now moving on to the Falchion keyboard. This is a 65% wireless mechanical keyboard, retailing at $279 with an interactive touch panel on the left side of the keyboard. I was really surprised by the intuitive touch adjustment. You just slide your finger up the panel and adjust the volume easily. This can also be programmed for other media functions on the software side. Because it's extremely sensitive, I realized that I would sometimes accidentally touch the side of the keyboard as a habit and it'll mess up with the volume. But this is where I found out how the cover comes in handy. Gotta give it to the brand. The keyboard cover is a thoughtful design. I was pleasantly surprised. Other than the obvious use case where you could prevent dust from settling on the caps, the case can also be placed under the keyboard. It comes with a cutout on the left side of the touch panel, but it does kind of prevents you from accidentally touching the side panel as much. The switches used are your regular Cherry MX rate. I don't think it's factory loop or anything, but it sounds acceptable. However, the steps are non-standard cold star steps. I've used cold star steps before, and I personally prefer cherry clip-in steps. The keycaps fit tightly on the switches, not much of a stamp wobble. Even though this is a 65% form factor keyboard, the physical dimensions is closer to that of a 60% keyboard. One thing to note, the spacebar is also a 5.5 units long spacebar, which will make it hard for you to replace keycaps if you're looking to buy some aftermarket ones. I can't really make an apple to apple comparison with the Razer Huntsman Mini that I reviewed previously as this has wireless capabilities and comes with arrow keys. Price aside, in terms of practicality, the ROG Falchion might offer better daily use case. So right now I'm testing the monitor, the keyboard and the mouse on Cyberpunk. So far the keyboard works pretty well. I believe these are PBT keycaps so it will definitely be good to use on an extended period. I'm a fan of the wireless mouse, if you haven't got one, go ahead and try the ROG Strix Impact 2 wireless. It's retailing at $139, very competitive price point against other brands. With regards to the monitor, even though this monitor is rated at a 75Hz refresh rate, when playing Cyberpunk at high resolution, the monitor only offers up to almost 60Hz refresh rate. So all in all, after approximately 2 weeks of use, uh, it's been quite a fun experience so far. Just some of my concluding thoughts. I find that the monitor is somewhat lacking in terms of specifications. And also because of its hefty price point, the monitor is retailing at about $749, which is pretty high for a non-HDR 27-inch monitor. But on the other hand, I really enjoy using the wireless mouse and keyboard. I think these are fantastic products in terms of being competitive with other brands in the industry. Wireless is definitely the way to go for a minimalist look. So if you're someone who's into that very clean desk setup, I um, highly recommend you to check out their products. My only wish is that it would be great if the brand could 
could look into offering you know other kinds of keycaps or even partner with third-party keycaps brands for better aesthetic customization in today's work environment and today's desk setup and in terms of price point the mouse is at $139 the keyboard is at $279 these are very competitive price points comparing it to you know other brands in the industry so if you're someone into the wireless setup I highly recommend you check out the keyboard and the mouse so we've come to the end of the Asus gamer slash creator experience it's been fun thanks for sticking out with me on this one let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this setup is this something for you to monitor the keyboard the mouse I would really love to hear as always if you've not liked the video drop a like at the button down here and I'll catch you guys in the next one Calm down before you stress up the